Field comes in for Anderson. And good on the second, so he makes them both. What a rookie year for Brandon Pajemski. A seamless transition into the league. You talk about a guy who could come in and contribute right away. I remember the stretch last year. He had three straight games with double-doubles without a turnover. Now that's some heady play for a rookie. Pajemski, he's got a great calmness and a great demeanor about him, but always willing to make the next play. Heel for three. Aldama grabs a board. Aldama's got four rebounds in the game. Bain into the lane, and a nice finish on the layup. Bain's got 19 points. Yeah, right there with Bain, you see the advantage of size and toughness in the backcourt. Now here's Jackson Davis, defended by Jackson. Oh, look at Green getting his inside. It's like he needed that halftime break to gather himself. Now he's starting to get his confidence back here. And it's Morant with the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets, a home game. And that kicks off a string of three home games for them to the paint. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his fifth assist in this one. And tearing them to shreds tonight. You know, when a player as versatile as Morant starts going off, look out. Jackson Davis. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Down low. Here's Morant. He shoots again. Oh, Morant gets it done inside. They have no answer defensively inside. Warriors trail by seven. Pass to Jackson Davis. Outside Curry. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. I think if I was coaching these guys right now, especially him, I'd tell him, you take one more three-point shot, and we're going to have some, some conversations here side by side. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Here's Pajemski. The Grizzlies making their last shot. Oh, Curry, a sick triple. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. With the fadeaway. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And the Grizzlies lead by eight. And I love that Jackson Jr. doesn't get phased by the defense. He's just staying locked in on scoring despite the solid contest. Here's Heal. Takes the three. Kept alive. The three from Curry. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got his fourth assist in this one. As the game winds down, he has shifted into a higher gear, making six of eight shots this quarter. Now here's Aldama. Jackson, the screen. Inside. It's kept alive! And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Trace Jackson Davis picks one up. Just a load to deal with inside. When Jackson Jr. goes up strong, he puts the defense in difficult situations. The first one falls. And the growth of Jackson Jr. is downright scary, especially defensively. This guy has been upping his game, and no opponent is happy about that. Wiggins, he's checked in for Pajemski. And so Jackson nails both of them. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. And Steve Kerr calls timeout here. He wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. 
I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He told his team, once you grab the rebound, run with the ball. Don't give them a single second to catch their breath. We control the pace of this game, not them. Guys, expect the pace to pick up. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Warriors trail by seven. With the step back. Here's Curry. Oh, Curry, what a tough finish. And none better, Steph, stepping up. What a great feel for the moment. Steph Curry, bingo. Morant, the pass to Aldama. Back to Morant. Up and in on the layup. Morant's got 17 points here in the second half. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific mood right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Wiggins against Moran. Oh! And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Buddy Heel just has such an incredibly quick trigger. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He gets the first. And that trims the lead to six. When you talk about the best shooters in the NBA, Buddy Hield has to be in the conversation. And he's unable to get the second one. You know, the team's struggling to come back. He really wanted all of those free throws. Bain finds Morant. Good on the shot. Morant's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Yeah, I love the unselfishness from Bain. Very willing to give the ball up. Outside Curry. 13 feet out. And it's Bain with the rebound. Bain's got four rebounds now. Green against Morant. To the inside. Here's Jackson. Nails the baby hook. And now a 10-point Grizzly lead. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Grizzlies. They made the most of the extra rebounds tonight. Helped them out a lot. Now, when you look at these teams, they're both great rebounding clubs. And any night, either one could have the advantage on the boards. And with this performance, they'll have claimed their eighth win of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Ja Moran. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way, too. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. And so Curry nails both of them. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. You're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Back to Green. Fires from deep. Memphis with a rebound. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Morant, the pass to Clark. Outside Bain. Overhealed. Out to the wing. Here's Aldama. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. And the Grizzlies lead by 11. And they came in here with some attitude, and it brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight, getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. And so Memphis takes this one by a big margin.
And with tonight's win...